Hello and welcome to this video series on Amazon S3 Volume 1. In this video, you're going to learn the steps involved in setting up your own Amazon S3 account. Now, this is going to be rather straightforward and not difficult at all, completely painless. But I'm going to walk you through it anyway, just to make sure that we're off to a nice strong start. So let's get started. Now, just to give you an idea visually as to what we're going to be working with with our Amazon S3 account, this is kind of the way it looks once you've got it already set up using this particular tool. Now, we're going to be highlighting these tools I'm going to cover right now in greater depth in an upcoming video within this series. This particular tool, it's a free tool. It's called S3 Firefox Organizer. And if you haven't guessed, it has to do with Firefox. It's a free plugin that you just add to your Firefox browser. And again, it's free. And we'll cover this in greater detail when we get to that particular video but another tool which actually I like a lot better but it is an actual exe file that you install onto your computer and I think it's got a lot more bells and whistles than well I know that it's got a lot more bells and whistles than the s3 Firefox plugin does but in both cases both people both programs are constantly updating their systems their, their programs so flexibility is a number one with both of them so you, you've got that going for you so however you tend to roll myself I lean towards a Cloudberry Explorer but in either case I am a, a Firefox user so you know I got both of them and there's no harm in having both now they do have a similar look and feel as an FTP client. So if you're familiar with how to use a FileZilla, for example, or a Smart FTP, WSFTP, then you're going to be seeing some similarities here. For example, on one pane or one side of your computer screen, you've got the S3 account and the folders, or they call them buckets or directories. And then on the other side, you've got your computer. You simply select the files and upload them by dra dragging them over or hitting an arrow button or whatever. I mean, there's you've got those similarities as you do with the uh, FTP clients. And if you take another look at the S3 organizer, same thing. On this side is where my computer is, and this side is where the internet is or the S3 account. Again, you simply select the, uh, the file or folder directory and then hit the appropriate button or click hold and drag it over to the S3 account that you wanted in. And again, we're going to go over this in greater detail when we get to those particular videos. I just want to give you a visual idea as to what you're going to be working with once you get the S3 account set up. Now, in setting up your Amazon S3 account, the phrase easy as pie comes to mind. A couple of things you're going to need. One is an email address. And if you don't have one, well, I'm a big proponent of Gmail. Well, that's Google email. So if you don't have one of those, go get one, at least one. And you're going to need an Amazon account. If you've ever bought anything from Amazon.com, CDs, books, got your brand new Kindle, do you? Uh, then you're good to go. Now, if not, don't sweat it. It's free and easy to do. And it's pretty straightforward. Just go to Amazon.com and set up your account. Now, if you don't have a credit card, you're going to need to get one. And if you you have credit issues don't sweat it there's ways around that as well if you've got a bank account if you can get a debit card attached to your checking account or savings account that'll work just fine as well but in either case if you've got credit issues and you cannot get a credit card you do not have a bank account so you can't get the debit card that's attached to your account don't worry about it I believe Walmart and other places that you can actually walk into sell these things called reloadable visa cards or mastercards and those are pretty cool now the i've seen ads on tv and you can get them over the internet as well it's just with something like that i prefer uh, when possible i prefer to be able to actually touch feel stare people in the face whenever i'm handing them money for a credit card type item so again that's totally up to you but it's easy to get credit cards nowadays these uh debit card type things without having credit and without having a checking account. So I just want to let you know that is a possibility. So check around if you fall into that category. So that being said, let me go ahead and open up another tab here and let's head on over to Amazon.com. Now where we're going to go is aws.amazon.com forward slash S3. And let me pull this into our browser here. That's Amazon Simple Storage Service. That's the S3, in case you're wondering. Now, as far as setting up, now, there's a whole lot of tools here under the AWS umbrella, and Amazon S3 is simply one of them. Now, Amazon S3 works kind of hand-in-hand -hand with a lot of these other tools, but we're not going to go over these right now. These are powerful enough to have their own video series, which we will get to eventually. But uh, set up our Amazon S3 account. And you've got your options here. 
Now, again, if you do not have an Amazon.com account, get one. And once you've got one, then we are then heading over to www.aws.amazon.com forward slash S3. And then click on set up an account. Boom, you're here. Now, then you just put in your Gmail account or whatever email account that you're going to be using for this. And another hint, too, it's always a good idea to start off organized. So if you don't have a file folder on your computer somewhere that is related to Amazon products or Amazon items, then go ahead and do that now. That way, inside of that folder, you can keep all of the purchase orders or the screen captures of your receipts and, and everything having to do with Amazon. One of those items having to do with Amazon could be another folder inside of that folder named Amazon S3, in which you would contain uh, the email address, login details, password, and the like to access this particular Amazon S3 account. Because, by the by, you can have more than one S3 account. And once we get into a little bit further into this video series, you're going to see some reasons why that would be very advantageous. So, that being said, let us go ahead and plug in our uh, email account. I'm a returning customer, my password is. And again, this is where I do not have an AWS account or an S3 account just yet, but I do have an Amazon.com account. So then we click on sign in using our new secure server. I need to read better. Sign in using our secure server. And right off the bat here, we've already covered this in an earlier video, but it shows you how much the costs are going to be. And remember, as mentioned in the prior video, you will not be charged anything, not a zip, zilch, zero, until you actually use this. So just by you setting up your account, you are not being charged anything. This is the current account of my Amazon account, my Amazon.com account. So what we want to do now is you can choose to use this particular credit card for your S3 account, or you can change it to something else. Eh, we'll just leave it at that. One down here, complete sign up process. Now, if you expected it to be more involved, well, sorry to disappoint you. That's it. That's how easy it is. Now, you can go ahead and while you're here, sign up for other services if you're into that, if you're familiar with that. Cool, go for it. DevPay is awesome. Again, that's for a different video series. But really, at this point, we've signed up for our service. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on how to set up your Amazon S3 account. Next up, we're going to start diving a little bit deeper into those free tools I was talking about earlier in this video, starting with the CloudBerry Explorer. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.